All right, let's work towards the multivariate case for Taylor series. This is going to be simplest if we just have a single output. So f is going to have n inputs, one output. If you have more outputs, deal with them one at a time. All right, what does a Taylor expansion really mean? What does it feel like? Well, if you have a simple setting with a couple of inputs, one output, you know what linearization looks like. That uses the first derivative. If you wanted a quadratic approximation or a cubic approximation to that function, you would need to compute higher derivatives and come up with polynomial approximations to your function using those derivatives. That's what the multivariable Taylor expansion of a function really looks like. Okay, so what's the formula? Well, I got bad news. The formula is a little bit scary looking. And this is still the nice case where we're doing an expansion about x equals zero. All inputs equal to zero. It is morphologically similar to the um, standard single variable. But all these terms, all this notation, what does it really mean? What is that sum over? What's that capital I? That's something called a multi-index. That's what we're going to work towards next. Now, at this point, uh, you might be a little stressed out. That formula looks crazy. Look, stay calm. Don't worry about what that formula looks like. It may look intimidating, but it is very simple if we go step by step. Taylor series was never easy, but it is useful.